How's it going guys? Alex Eubank here. Today I'm going to be going over the best methods and tips you guys can use to get ripped and to get that six pack you've always wanted. These tips are uh, scientifically based and they uh, have a lot of evidence behind them. And when you incorporate these all together, they're all little things that when you do them all together, it'll lead to an actual difference that you can see. I'm gonna be going over brown and white fat, I'm gonna be going over caffeine, I'm gonna be going over intermittent fasting, how to lower your insulin levels and have better insulin sensitivity, water, stomach vacuums, and then like my favorite ab exercises. So it's a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna try to make it as, um, as broad and as short as I can in this video but uh, a lot of really good information that I use myself to get ripped. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is brown and white fat. Now, we have two different types of fat in our body. We have, uh, the majority is white fat. White fat isn't good fat, that's the stuff that like, uh, the more obese you are, the more white fat you have. Brown fat is healthier fat. Now, what you can do is you can incorporate your white fat to be transferred into brown fat. Now, how you do this is through cold temperatures. Cold temperatures then activate brown fat that will lead to you uh, increasing your metabolism. So how this works is you want to convert your white fat into brown fat so that when you get cold, your body will then burn this brown fat to warm you up. Now ways you can do this are stuff like taking cold showers in the mornings. So take a cold shower, go in the shower for about 10 minutes in the cold water. It's gonna be difficult at first, but you can kind of work your way through it. Don't just start super cold. Start, you know, like with a mild temperature, then get colder and colder until you're used to it. You can also uh, get your body in colder environments by not wearing a jacket in colder times of the year. So personally, it is, um, so right now it's like February. I rarely wear jackets when I go outside. I usually wear a long sleeve or a t-shirt. And I try my best to not wear jackets when I am, you know, driving around to places and doing that because when you uh, put your body in these colder environments, it's gonna start converting to that brown fat, allowing you to burn more of that brown fat. This is a review on a uh, scientific study in the Nature Journal Scientific Reports. So this study found evidence that the cold temperatures could help transform the fat that we have in our bodies, white fat to brown fat. The summary of it is that cold temperatures help cause stem cells to form brown fat instead of white fat. You use brown fat to burn extra calories to keep you warm. Next thing we're gonna go over is caffeine. So I'm really, really big on drinking black coffee. Now it's something that you definitely have to get used to, but the benefits you get from black coffee and caffeine or like green tea and things alike are really, really good. Caffeine helps to boost your metabolism. It also helps stabilize your insulin levels and, and the way that it helps kind of speed up your metabolism and burn fat is that it will push your fat cells in your bloodstream where they should be so that you can use your fat cells for energy rather than going to your glucose stores. So basically the simple, complete simple version of it is that caffeine boosts your metabolism and it's going to help push your fat cells in your bloodstream so that you can use it for energy. So this is a scientific study and they said that they, uh, they conducted four trials. They said that metabolic rate increased significantly during the three hours after caffeine ingestion. So if you don't know what your metabolism is, basically what it is is it's kind of like your rhythm. It, it helps with your daily expenditure, right? So we all have a daily expenditure. People who have a high metabolism tend to be very skinny. People who have a low metabolism tend to be fat and obese. So it'll help if you struggle with you know keeping fat, having a higher metabolism will help you kind of burn that excess fat. Third thing we're going to be going over is intermittent fasting. This is my favorite thing to do when I'm cutting. I do it all the time when I'm cutting. Usually my fasting window is I stop eating at 10 p.m. and then I start eating the next day at 2 p.m. Basically what this is, is you only eat for a certain part of the day and you kind of delay your first meal. That's like the most simplest version. Some people do a six hour eating window, some people do eight meaning you can eat from two to 10, which is I do at eight. Some people do two to eight. The benefits of this comes from is when we when we eat food, especially like when we eat food in the morning, our body converts it into our, like the carbs and the sugars, and this is stored into our cells. If there's an excess of it, then it's gonna be stored as fat. So the only way sugar can enter your fat cells is through insulin. Your insulin has to be up. When you eat food, your insulin goes up so that this, your cells can take in this energy, right? So when you go a while without eating, your insulin levels will start to go down. Then your fat cells can release the sugar they have as energy. The lower your insulin levels are, the more that your body's gonna be releasing its own energy and its fat cells and stuff to be used as energy that you're not getting in from eating food. So you kind of are still eating for the day, but you're delaying that window so that your body is going through more of a fasting state. This will also help uh, jumpstart your metabolism for your first meal. It's gonna help improve your insulin sensitivity over time. Right now the fourth thing we'll be going over is how to lower your insulin levels and uh, help your uh, insulin sensitivity. So we're just gonna go over quick tips 
Small frequent meals will help with this because you're not, you know, when you have a really big meal, it'll make your insulin levels go skyrocketing. So you small frequent meals help this not, you know, maintain your insulin levels at more of a stable rate. Low carb diets also help with this. Intermittent fasting, like I said, will also help. And then apple cider vinegar. Taking a shot of apple cider vinegar a day has been shown in some studies to help increase your insulin sensitivity so that when you do eat these foods that will, you know, that are supposed to make your insulin levels go up, it'll help stabilize them more. Now, apple cider vinegar has also been shown to help your uh, metabolism. You want your insulin levels low, and you want really good insulin sensitivity to help keep fat off. That's how you keep fat off. That's the best way to kind of stay lean or to get lean is to do that. Next thing we're going to be going over is drinking enough water. Now, this is really simple and it's really obvious, but I'm going to explain some of the science behind it. Now, there's certain enzymes in our body that help to activate fat to be used as energy, and a lot of these enzymes need to have water in order to work. It also helps to get rid of water weight, so when you have that bloated look, drinking more water will help you kind of get rid of that bloat, or it'll make you look and appear leaner. Drinking water has also been shown to boost your metabolism. So this is from a celebrity fitness trainer. She stated that if the human body consumes 16 ounces of water in a given hour, the metabolic rate will spike by as much as 30% for the next 30 to 40 minutes. All right, now I'm gonna be going over uh, quick you know, stomach vacuums. These are really, really big. I do these all the time, almost every day. Uh, you gotta get used to it. Do it on an empty stomach. So what you do basically, you push all the air out of your lungs. So now with all your air out, you're gonna pull your, you're gonna, with all your air out, you're gonna pull your stomach in. You're gonna like you're trying to, you know, roll. Basically, what you're doing is you're rolling your abdominals, trying to up your up into your rib cage. So imagine touching your belly button to the back of your spine. So just pull it in as hard as you can. At first, you're not gonna be able to pull it in that far, but the stronger and stronger your inner abdominal wall gets, you'll be able to pull it in farther and farther until you end up looking like Frank Zane. Or I actually did post a picture where I try comparing myself to Frank Zane. Got a little bit of ways to go, but um, it helps. What, what this does, it helps you control your abdominal wall so you have more tightness. So when you're walking around, you don't have to focus on keeping your core tight. You know, when you have your shirt off, it'll help naturally do that for you. It also helps keep your waist slimmer. And it also helps your rib cage expand so that you can get that really aesthetic look when you're going for like a golden physique where you kind of get that broad shoulders, you know, good rib cage tight core, small waist. I advise doing these for about three to four sets every day on an empty stomach. My favorites that have a lot of ab activation are hanging leg raises. I also like to do planks a lot, and then I also like to do toe touches where you lay on your back, have your feet up in the air, and you, you know, it works your upper abs, you do toe touches with it. I'm gonna post this little uh, workout right here you guys can do if you guys want a little quick free uh, ab circuit. All these things add up, so you do multiple little things that help your metabolism, insulin levels, and all that, and then it'll start making a bigger difference. You have to incorporate everything, though. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, please like the video, please comment, let me know what I can do better. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm also thinking about getting my NASM, my NSAM certification, so I can be a personal trainer. So I'll be getting even more knowledge that I can share with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.